Hello everybody, this is the Harbinger, this is the Wingspan on Steam, and uh, this is my opening hand. Uh, you need to know that you have some kind of uh, card or mecha mechanisms to make it work. Ooh, red Light Partridge, that is a really good card to pick up. Uh, it lays uh, three eggs every activation. Uh, we just need uh, somewhere to put all of those eggs. It works really well with Willy Wagtail. Uh, I don't know the uh, the White Wagtail because um, the Wagtail uh, wants you to activate uh, every hab habitat at least once. And uh, to make it work you often need to uh, compromise by uh, maybe only activating the grasslands uh, once. Uh, which means that if you get five eggs every time you do it, then um, it can actually work uh, pretty well. Also, I like I like the thought of the Baltimore Oriole just because it's a nine pointer, and uh, yeah, it gives us access to more powerful uh, forest actions as uh, we have extra actions cubes we can spend with the Wagtail, so we can afford to uh, give our opponent more food. Yeah, I I uh, I like this. Uh, I like the look of this setup. Uh, I don't like Historian here. I also don't like uh, Ulogist. Ugh, what do we pick here? Sure, let's pick Historian, just we don't have to uh, waste so much time uh, micromanaging eggs. I do also like Horsefields, Bushlark maybe, but I like Red-Legged Partridge better. It's because uh, it gains 3 egg for no extra cost, while this guy needs to discard a wheat to pick up two extra eggs, so if we hadn't had the opportunity to pick red leg, I'd uh, pick our horse fields um, uh, together with white white, white, white tail, uh, almost all, all the time. But yeah, you pay uh, you pay the one extra green up front here, and you get more eggs, so yeah, it's a really good uh, payout there. Uh, we play the Baltimore Oriole first, pay for it uh, also with the Nectar, and um, yeah, just uh, accept that we won't be looking in the bird tray before we are uh, two more turns into the round. Oh, what was that? Four fish. Uh, let's do this. Take the take the free cherry. Maybe we can use that to play the black chin hummingbird on an end round. Let's play the wagtail now. And then we can maybe afford to pick up the Eastern Imperial Eagle or something. <sighs> Opponent just played Mute Swan. Uh, so they have a pretty good uh, tucking opportunity here. Uh, tucking opportunities, they really like cards like the Eastern Imperial Eagle, just because they pick up a lot of cards and then they can uh, just also play bombs uh, together with that. So I don't want them to have that option. Also, let's take the Blackjack Hummingbird. It's a really cheap bird that lets us uh, have access to uh, another bird to uh, have for the last uh, the last run and goal. And it also works uh, as a cheap bird to play in round two. So I like the look of those two cards. And let's just hope that nothing powerful here shows up. And I guess they can have those uh, zero um, zero worth uh, birds for free from me. Okay. Now I want to play um, play the red legged partridge pretty fast because uh, I need to play it and activate uh, activate the grasslands once. Uh, we also need extra food for the black chin hummingbird, so if we overpay to pay to play this, we uh, won't be having enough food for the black chin. So um, let's uh, take food once again and. Uh, just uh, be happy that um, we don't need to overpay here. We can pay for it with the sherry, which is um, the uh, food we have spare of anyway. So let's do this, and um, I think we, I think we want to play the Blackjack Hummingbird in the wetlands uh, at the end of round because um, because. Uh, Five eggs, because uh, we can then uh, cycle eggs, which we are gaining a lot of, uh, to um, 
to the wetlands uh, to gain additional cards, which we can then cycle back into the Eastern Imperial Eagle. So I think that's a viable play here. Both of these birds are top tier power wall cards. Uh, oh, oh, okay. This is, um, oh my god, I just have to, uh, I just have to do like this just to uh, keep that in mind for later. So, okay, now we need, now we need a proper plan here. Because I, I, I want both of those birds. And I think I actually want them in the in the grasslands here. Uh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. We need... Oh, but having these two guys uh, here. This guy discards a card and lays two eggs. That's, that's uh, three points. Kala gets two points. That's five points. This guy lays three eggs. That's eight points. Uh, a lot of them in eggs. And then we also gain two eggs here, that's 10 points. That's so much. Put this guy on top to waste some eggs and... Oh. Or do we play them in the, in the forest? Um... We at least need both of them. That that that's just uh, that's just given. We need both of them, and we need to start. We need to pick up uh, additional cards. We can uh, we can uh, we can uh, cycle away to um, to uh, tuck bit not behind the noise miner and stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't like uh, I don't like uh, tossing the great behaviour. It's a really nice card for uh, playing two birds at once. Uh, we we actually do need to get rid of eggs fast uh, with this uh, build because we are going to build so many eggs. Uh, we will be tired for seeing that many eggs all the all the time. We're gonna be tired of winning, as they say. Okay, uh, now we take food. What do we play first, Gala or Gala or Noisy Miner? Um, mm, 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 I think we do Gala first, just because, um, just because uh, it's um, it doesn't re require us to sacrifice cards uh, to gain uh, to gain uh, two po two power. Well, yeah, no, it's a minor also. Also, it will fill up uh, egg shots while the uh, Gala has uh, unlimited capacity. Um, we need more food, more food, more food. Uh, boop, boop, boop. We should actually also be trying to get a third, uh, another bird in here that gives us additional food every time we activate. But this will have to be it for now. We are spending. We need to keep one, uh, one more nectar for playing the uh, playing the uh, noisy miner at the round end, I think. So that's um, that was exactly what I said. Thank you, Gala, for paying attention in class. And do this. Okay, so now my mind is just completely, completely rambling because uh, I'm excited about uh, excited about playing this uh, really awesome, uh, <laughs> really awesome setup here. Uh, let's do this, and uh, you get you get the wheat. You get some cards. You get three eggs. So that's, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points from two birds. Uh, that's madness, madness, I tell you. Let's see, we have... We don't have the correct food for the nice miner. Uh, maybe we actually consider playing these guys too. Um, mm, 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 mm. We need to... No, we wanted to play the noisy miner first, I think. Anyway, it's correct to pick up um, pick up these foods, no matter what. Let's see. This needs 
uh, this needs uh, the fish and the vertebrae, and then we can play the Rosette Spoonbill. Then we get up here, then we can access uh, access three cards a turn. We can do that before we start uh, activating another Nozzle Miner. Of course, we also want to have um, access to playing these after we have, we have played the Nozzle Miner, so we can, uh, we can steal its eggs. Yeah, okay. This, this is the play. Also, we don't waste as many waste as many eggs by doing this. Okay. <sighs> we have these two guys. We don't care about that. We can talk to the noisy miner. Uh, we also need. We also need uh, more food. Let's take food first. Then we play these guys. We accept that we are going to overpay by one or two. Only one. We have a lot, lots of cherries we can afford to overpay with, so that's completely fine. So we do this. No, 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 no. First, we need to. Uh, first, we need to go here. We could also sacrifice cherries to lay even more eggs. But what, where do we put them? We are going to. Uh, we are going to waste so much resources on uh, on uh, stuff we actually need space for. Okay, uh, space force. Uh, let's do this. You get an uh, egg. You get a grain, and I get uh, tons of things. This is one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. <sighs> okay, now, now we do this. Great to have uh, Take egg. Rosate spoon bill. Oh, we're paying a little. Take egg. Take egg. And I guess. I guess we are planning to play another large wingspan bird, which would give, make, make this uh, actually give points. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, I think that's that's the correct play there. Then we can pick up some more cards, <laughs> get even more cherries, sacrifice egg to uh, to get uh, more stuff here. Take this egg then. Do we play the California Condor? Yeah, maybe. We could play it here. Then we can uh, sacrifice extra cards to gain the third food. Yeah. Uh, we decided that that was something we were going to we are willing to do. Take an egg from there. And let's see, <laughs> we already have uh, the eight points from there. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's a gimme then. Okay, that was actually a little bit stupid because now we now we don't have uh, anything to play at the end of the round here. Uh, we could uh, we could pick up we could do the mountain bluebird into into the eastern imperial eagle. Um, that. We just spend all of the cards we have in hand. Uh, 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 uh. I am tempted to tempted to go here once first, but then we have to then we uh, have to take a card here, so we have to overpay for the Eastern Peril Eagle. We could go here and not activate the noisy miner also. That will just give us one, two, three, four, five, six, eight points. Um, uh, uh, uh. And uh, that's uh, some uh, eggs we can take away from these birds. Or we could pick up, uh, pick up another nectar. 
and uh, well, just like preemptively prepare a little bit for next round. That's also not the worst thing in the world, is it? Preparing for the future. Fine, I have convinced myself. But I don't like it. Okay, uh, Mountain Bluebird. Oh, uh, first we have to decide we are doing this. Mountain Bluebird. And uh, take these two eggs, and then we play these in Imperial Eagle for triple duck. And uh, I guess these eggs. They really take eggs out of those nests. Ah, well. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, Black Red Start can't play it, so let's not even think about it. Mm, not crazy about either of these. We do need something to um, something to talk to them as a miner. So uh, let's just go here first. We can uh, sacrifice one egg from here and uh, get four attempts at something great here. Uh, for example, the uh, white stork is an 8-pointer, uh, don't mind uh, playing that uh, as one of the two cards we're playing uh, this round. Uh, that will take, will take the last, uh, last one here. Uh, oh, it's also, it's also uh, the last the one we need for the large bird specialist. Uh, we have no history of birds. Should probably have went with the other, other cards, with, with, which was uh, three birds that can only live in the grasslands, and we will get them, get them three points. But that's fine. We could play Clark's Nutcracker. That's that's uh, also an option here. Yeah, I think uh, I think this guy is the, is, uh, the correct one here. He gives us uh, four, five cherries. He gives us, uh, he gives us uh, seven points. It doesn't really matter in which order we do it, so we could also take food first. That way we lose out on uh, maybe gaining one point, but on the other hand, we uh, don't have to overpay by tons of food. And also, with this way, we can put nectar into uh, into the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do this. Spend the last egg. That was bad. Uh, I should, I should have went here first. That way we could have spent, uh, spent an egg from the Baltimore Oriole to play the Clark's Nutcracker, and uh, that way we would. Um, we wouldn't lose out on uh, one single point, which is going to annoy me uh, annoy me a lot now. Ah well, uh, let's play these four eggs and uh, take a roving hawk. Give you so that's three, uh, that's four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points in one activation of the grasslands. That's uh, that's the kind of thi that's the kind of things that dreams are made of in uh, in my crazy world where dreams are made of wingspan uh, wingspan place. Uh, yeah, we don't really have any more birds we need to lay eggs on, so let's just go about this like this. I do re realize we don't have a, we don't have a, a last card to uh, give to the noise and miner. But that, that's a really good example of why we all always wanted to spend one egg to pick up an additional card every time we drew cards. It's because they are going back into the noise miner and creating back two eggs. So um, it's been uh, worth. Now we just have to lay the last eggs manually. That's four skipping the noise miner. Four, six. And uh, just seven, eight, because uh, we uh, forgot to uh, 
play these two cards in the correct order. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Uh, White Stark goes there. He will take eggs from Noise Miner, I guess. And uh, yeah, this should be a pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome score, I think. Since we had uh, quite a few activations of the grass dance that gave us uh, 10 and 12 points every every time, which is literally uh, really good. I was gonna say literally insane, but uh, that's uh, not um, that's not uh, correct use of terms. So I stopped myself, even though I have a pretty good feeling about uh, about this game. Sixty points there. That means this is uh, at least 130, 140 maybe. Oof, that's uh, going to be great. Of course, the score should be a little bit inflated since we had an no goal, but we had only one action, uh, one extra action cube, and that we also lose out on uh, woo, 144. Also lose out on uh, some of the uh, some of the, of the round end points here. So I don't know if. One extra action cube is worth losing out on one of the one of the roll angles. I don't think it is. So, um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, yeah, 144 points. That's a really good score. Uh, of course, you would expect that when you get uh, when you get uh, many of those birds that just uh, give you tons of points every activation here. Mm, there are probably some uh, ways to play this uh, play this setup better than I did, but uh, I am really happy how uh, how this game uh, turned out, and uh, yeah, from uh, from round uh, round two uh, <laughs> when we saw these two guys, it was just pedal to metal, and uh, yeah, that uh, turned out to be a really really cool game here. Happy I got it on camera. Uh, happy that you guys follow me. Uh, and yeah, if you uh, like this kind of content, you can consider uh, liking the video and uh, commenting on it. And if you regularly enjoy my content, you can even consider subscribing if that's your kind of deal. This has been Harbinger, and uh, thank you for watching. I'm signing out.